Howdy folks, welcome to episode 6. Today we're going to continue right where we left off, and I think before we actually go out in the HV, what I want to do is I want to, let me put this stuff away too, I want to paint and stuff because it needs it. It needs a paint job. So we're going to do that. And let me put this stuff away too. Whoops, not that. This and this and this and this. And I don't think I need radiation pills because my armor is higher than, yeah, my armor protects up to four. And I kind of wish they would actually make it so that, so that Omicron would have a, a radiation level that was just barely above your own so that you do have to like kind of keep track of that and stuff. But let's see what we have for oxygen here. And okay, so this only has two left. All right, we're going to take a couple of these just to get our oxygen up. And should I put more fuel in there? No, nah, no, nah, we're just going to leave it. Okay, so what we want to do here is we're going to put on a symmetry axis and then we're going to find some textures and stuff that look decent on this ship. And so let's place down a symmetry axis. There we go. Like that and then we're going to try out some textures here let's see what we have as far as the sides go I think let me see let's check out this side I don't know what these look like if these are those are kinda cool and I'm not sure if this is gonna fit well either so let me see let me turn my jetpack back on and I'm kind of thinking that would actually be kind of cool to make this like a scaled creature, something like that. And let me see, is that, whoops, I think that's a missing block there too, isn't it? <laughs> All right, another block that got shot off. I should probably, when I get a chance, upgrade these to hardened armor, but yeah, that's fine. And so we're going to put this texture on here too. I think we're going to try this and see if we can get like a... Yeah, it looks cool. And then we're going to do for the other scales, let's see what we have as far as something that looks like it might. It only goes two directions, it doesn't go all four. Okay. Not that. Maybe that. That looks kind of cool. Let's see. Let's put this on all of these scales here, all these little scales, and let's see. And we'll put that on the top of here. And let's see, let's get our, this thing back here. And you know, what's this one? Dude, that's kind of cool too. It's not as scaly though. I kind of like the scaly thing. So we're going to stick with that. Let's see. And we're going to do, let's see. We're going to go back to, what's this one here? We're going to do that. And on the sides here, I want something else on the sides. Let me see what I can do. What's that? Huh. That's kind of interesting. It's a little shiny, isn't it? I'm not sure if that fits well with this. That, that doesn't work. And that doesn't work. It needs to be smoother or something. And maybe that. Yeah, that, yeah, that kind of works. Okay. And then we're going to have to paint it. We're going to have to find colors to paint it too. But let's see here. And we can get some, we need some lights. Some of these type of things. So we're going to do these like that. And is that correct on both sides? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And so I think that's all the blocks. Oh, there's a couple more. So let's get... Let's do these. There we go. We can put those in, on the back so that we can see because those are going to glow. I'll show you and get out of the ship. So all these things have little lights on them and then these have lights and then these are lights. And so now we need to pick a color. Let's do a, whoops, wrong tool here. Let's do a, I have food, right? Yeah, I have emergency rations. Okay. 
My food is starting to get low. I do need to go gather some food, I think. Because I did put all my food in here to let it spoil. Because I wanted a bunch of spoiled food. Let's see how much we got here. Yeah, we got 27 spoiled food. That's cool. That's not a problem. Okay. And so, yeah, we're going to pick a color to, to paint this. And maybe we'll try red. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to wait for it to get lower. And let me see here. Is it gonna is it gonna work like this if I do this? If I make all this stuff on the outside red? Let me see. And I'm probably gonna have to make the cockpit red too. Let's see, let's turn off. Let's see, let's let's try to make this lighter. Maybe even white. There we go. And this one over here. This one over here needs to be white too. There we go. Okay, and let's see, let's get these to be white, and I need to, let me see, let me get in here, we'll get underneath this a little bit, there we go, okay, so we can get underneath it with the drone here, there we go, and we'll get this stuff painted up in white, and whoops, I hit the engine there, didn't I, yeah, I hit the thruster there, so we're going to get that back to red, and I think that works pretty well. And I might even do something like that in the middle. No, it looks better in white, doesn't it? Okay. And let's see. Thrusters look better white. I think so. Okay. And maybe some of these. Let me see if these look better in white or their default colors. So let's check it out. Actually, that stands out better, doesn't it? That really stands out cool. That stands out. All right, and then let's see if a light gray maybe on these. All right, cool, cool. Okay, and so yeah, I know it's not like the most decked out ship in history, but that's not the pur purpose. The first HV is supposed to just, you know, get you around and that kind of stuff. And so is it dark already? Oh, the sun's going down. And is that the patrol vessel? I think it is. Okay, so we have... We have food, we have our drill modules that we need, and we have oxygen. Okay, so we're good on that stuff, and our ship is lit up, and let me make sure that I have enough fuel in our ship. So let's do this. Let's go here, and we'll take out some of our fuel. Let's take out 300. There we go. Okay, and does this thing need to even be on? Do I have anything that, that's using power? I don't really have anything that's using power, so let's do this. Let's get in here. Let's let's turn this thing off. Let's just turn the base off because it doesn't need to be using power right now anyway. Okay, and we should be able to get out of here. Let me see. Let's zoom back a little bit here. There we go. All right, and... And I do have the hover engine on the bottom. Yes, I put the hover engine on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to try to get out of here. We're going to try to go get our oxygen. And you know what? I don't think we're going to fit out there still very easily. So that's the other thing I need to do before we carry on here. Let's do this. And I need to watch my food here. I'm going to start getting like your starving kind of thing. But let's get... Let's get this cleared out a little bit better. So yeah, we should be able to, yep, everything's hidden there. And we should be able to clear out this. And we should be able to climb out of there with the ship. So why don't we do this while I'm here and I have these blocks. Let's do this. And we'll take this ramp, and we're going to put it here and here. And I think a couple more. One there, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's where I want it. Not sure if I want one there. Let's take that one out. There we go. And so we're going to do, whoops, we're going to do this and this. And this, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So that just so that we have a wider approach. And right 
there. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. I think we got the one that we wanted to, so that's fine. There we go. Okay, and let's get a little bit more of this cleared out, and then we should be able to get our ship out of there pretty easily without banging it up against the walls and all that. So I think we are good. And like I said, we are safe now to remove stuff without our constructor being in view. Okay, so let's get in our ship and we're gonna see if we can go up our exit ramp now. And I think maybe that little area there is gonna be a little tight too, so I'm still gonna have to clean up a little bit more. But yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And see, there we go. So now what we can do is when we need to come home, we can just jump over and that's fine but the critters can't get in from the outside which is important and so we're gonna head off very quickly we're gonna head off to get our oxygen before I run out of oxygen and I also need to eat in a second here too probably before we get there it looks like yeah the sun's setting on us as we go east here and so yeah we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna head over that way to where, wherever that Prometheum deposit is. Let me see, let me do this, page up. So page up and page down will move your view up and down when you're behind your ship. And if you hit Alt for free view, you can also zoom in and out. And so that will set what your view looks like so you can see where you're going, depending on where your ship, how big your ship is and all that stuff. Is this the oxygen generator? There it is. Was that a, no, that wasn't an audio right there. Okay. So we should be able to, and there we go. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Tell me I'm dying from lack of food. Okay, and let's see. And I need to get some oxygen in here too. So let's grab some of this. There we go. Okay, we got 31 bottles, awesome. All right, and so we can put some in here. There we go. And we can even get out and get some from our suit or in our suit. So let me see if there's anybody here that's going to come at me. There's that guy there, but he doesn't seem to be aggroed at me. And is my jetpack on? Yes, my jetpack is on. Okay, so we're going to go underneath the ship and we're going to. Where is it? Am I. Oh, I'm under the water. Okay, I'm like, why am I. Why is everything waving? <laughs> Am I having a bad trip? All right, apparently I was right under the water. Okay, so we're gonna go, there's a Prometheum deposit here and there's one here. Did we find any more of them? We found three of them, where's the third one? Ooh, the third one is right up here by the settlement. We could do that. We could just go that way and then we don't have to deal with this guy. So why don't we try that? We're gonna go over here and I think we're gonna have to shoot up some of the some of the drones I think there are drones over there so there's that yeah I like the way this ship looks I like it I know that that front isn't symmetrical and it's gonna drive some people nuts but <laughs> too bad just look at it look at it okay <laughs> and let's see a little bit yep a little bit left of us Okay, yeah, we're gonna go up to this settlement. I believe it's empty. There's green spider dudes. And probably have to shoot down some drones, which means we'll get some parts though, so that's cool. Looks like there's more. I think there's two drones protecting the settlement and two drones protecting the other thing. But we should have enough. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. And they're gonna drop a troop transport on us, aren't they? Okay. Ah! Get out of there, come on. Gonna shoot him, come on. There we go. Alright, we got that guy. Alright, let's get these guys. Let's loot them. He is. Is he not coming at me? He's not coming at me. This guy is, though, I think. Yep, yeah, he is. Okay. Let's get the mini gun drone here. 
And come on. I do need to get them before I run out of ammo. There we go. There's one. So we're going to do this. Are they going to come over? Let's see. We're going to loot these guys quickly. And come on, quickly. Quickly. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. And so let's get over here. You gotta get this cannon drone. He's gonna hit us. The rocket drone isn't gonna hit us. This guy is. Come on. There we go. And come on. There we go. Okay. All right, there we are. And so we can we need to loot these guys because we need to, need the parts. And wow. He's actually hitting me. Somebody actually hit me and took out some blocks. Okay, so let's see. We need to get over here. Get these guys, and I'm probably gonna have to like go back. I'm probably gonna have to go back to base. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to or not uh, to continue here because I do need more ammo. Let me see. Which one did I not? loot. There's one behind me. There he is. Okay, there's the cannon drone. So we're going to see if we can get this Promethium deposit before... Come on. There we go. We're going to see if we can get the Promethium deposit before we um, get more drones coming at us. Let's see if we can do this. So we're going to put um, a drill or two even on here. And we're going to try to dig into this Promethium deposit because I need to get some of this quickly and let's see we're gonna want to go down lower down a little bit there we go and so I do need to watch the radar for more incoming red dots other than those five obviously those five are not the problem but more replacements will be coming from the drone base and the troop transport is supposedly coming too so I do need to watch out for that because that will drop, that will drop guys that will uh, shoot at me and damage my ship. Like they have Xerax guys with uh, rocket launchers. So yeah, you definitely want to watch out for that. Let's see if we can get in here. I just do not want to get stuck. I'm kind of paranoid about getting stuck in here as well. But let's see. And keep it. I really should put more RCSs on this if I'm going to use it for drilling. Because it's just a little bit too... Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit too hard to turn. You have to put too much effort into turning it. So you can, you can solve that by putting more RCS units on it. And so far I don't see any drones, so I'm going to try to drill my way in here and I will let you guys know if anything happens. All right, there is our first Promethium stone. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Did we hit it? I know we hit it. Let's see what's in the harvest box. We got 24. Okay, that's going to help a little bit. And let's see if we can find some more here. Let me see. Let me jump out of the ship here, or at least do this. They're over. They're down there. Okay. I think they're down here. Are they? I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't see anything. So let me see if I can see anything with this. Can I see any more of them? Because I think that's just thrust for my thrusters. Let me see. Let's get out here. And two of the drones disappeared, so I do need to watch. Okay, there's something down here. There we go. Okay. They're right down below me. And so what I'm, I'm just going to use, I think I'm going to use the drone to do this. And hope that I don't get attacked. <laughs> right? By wildlife or whatever dropping down on me. <laughs> and so we'll see if we can get out of here with some Prometheum and get our way home. 
So now we have oxygen and promethium, and then I do need to get some food too. So I'll probably stop at an orange grove. So we got 10 more there. Probably stop at like an orange grove and pick some oranges or something. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't come down here in the ship. And I probably should, if I get a chance, I should go check that settlement and see what I can loot there too. So let's see what we can get dug up here. A couple more rocks. There's 47 Prometheum. Okay, let's do one more rock. We're really close to this one. So let's pick it up as long as we're here. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we have... Let's see. We have in the cargo box. So we have 94 total. All right. That is plenty. So let's get out of here. And hey, the sun's coming up. Cool. And you know what? We can even drill a couple of these rocks while we're here. Let's see, what is that? Stone removal? Stone removal. Right? Okay. And grab those, and then we should go over to this settlement. Why don't we do that and check it out? Because we haven't looted anything yet. So why don't we go check out the settlement and see what we can loot here? Looks like there's cargo boxes and stuff. Oh, looks like there's actual, like, humanoids there and stuff. Okay. Let me do this. Let me park this. Let's see, right next to the elevator, because I'm going to go up the elevator, I think. Let me see. Can I park on top of that? I think I can. So, shift, space, whoa, nice. Nice. Okay, well, that works too. <laughs> and shift, space. So, once this bar up here fills up, that's your boost. And so, if you hit shift, space, it will boost you upward. And then you can move once you're up now if you when you use your thrusters while you're doing that it like turns off your boost so you do have to watch that and let's see we'll just do this why don't we do that and we'll I need to repair this thing too it looks it looks pretty damaged yeah it's like half damaged okay maybe let me do some repair on this too before I end up like having to walk home because <laughs> that would suck and I can actually take those drills off too. So why don't we do that? Let's see, let's disassemble the drills. There we go. Okay, so now we need to watch on the radar for incoming drones like that. That must be the troop transport. I think that's gonna be the troop transport. Let's see where he lands. Because if he lands on the ground, I should be okay. If he lands on the ground far away, I should be okay. If he, yeah, I should be fine from here. I think. I think. We'll find out. Let me see. Will we do this? There we go. Is that better? Okay. I think we're good. All right. So let's get out here, and I don't see anybody down there. I don't think I have a scope on any of the, either of these. So yeah, I can't tell if anybody's down there or going to shoot at me. So let's try this. Let's go down here. Because he's right down there somewhere. Is the dudes that he dropped. Okay, so let's turn on our thing. And we'll just keep an eye out. There's multi-tools. And my inventory's full already. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff. There's some magnesium and sathium and stuff too. Okay, so we're going to come back and get this stuff. Let me empty. This is why you put cargo boxes in your hovercraft, <laughs> right? So that you can put stuff away. So let's do this. And we'll put everything in here. Let's see. And I can put that away. I don't need the motorbike. Okay, I think we're good with that stuff. And I'm going to keep that on me so I can keep those top two rows. All right, so let's go loot this stuff. Oh, I gotta be careful not to fall off of here. And, okay, so we're gonna grab this. I am gonna grab the multi-tools. You get free charges out of them, which I might need right now as poor as I am. So yeah, they come pre-charged. So you have like 250, like one, one of the ammo clips. Basically one of these loaded into it when, it, when you get it. And let's see, is there... Can I get in this door? I should, probably shouldn't use a gun when I'm walking around in here just so that I'm not accidentally shooting these guys and getting killed. Okay, that was interesting. Is that just a, does that go up to something? 
Yeah. It goes up to there. Okay. So this is just deco. And I really they really need to turn off that red on the abandoned factory too. And I can probably do that in the map somewhere. Or like turn off the let me turn off that and see if that yeah, much better. Because that red was just driving me nuts. Alright, let's grab these two. Hey, where's some food too? Alright. So yeah, let's grab all this food. And glad I didn't hit the wrong button to start shooting, right? <laughs> and cool, there's fiber in there too. Nice. Okay, so we got a bunch of food. This guy is a trader. You can get sprouts here and growing plots. Nice. Okay, once you get gold. The only problem with the economy right now in the game is that you basically, by the time you've got gold, you're already like maxed out and you have everything that you need. And so you can't... You don't need gold to... Once you have gold, you don't need to buy anything. So yeah, it's kind of silly. Let's see. There we go. I knew there was going to be some... There's some more food. And let's see. Let's go to this room. I just need to keep track of where my hovercraft is so that if something starts coming in, I'm not like lost like I am right now. <laughs> There's an EVA boost. Good. We can go to space now and mine once we build a small vessel. And let's see. There we go. <laughs> All right, and is our ship on? It's on the other pad. Okay. And so let's see. We went to these two. We went to that one, right? That's the one we came out of. Let's see if we can go into this. There's Oki Medical, and this guy sells health kits and stuff. Yep. And oxygen. And let's see. Let's see who else is in here. Looks like they've got all the scanner stuff, too. There we go. We're going to take this. I probably won't ever use it, but that's fine. And I can eat pear things. That's fine. Oh, I have space there, too. Okay. And so, yeah, you can use these to... You can use those scanners to heal. Oh, good. There should be stuff. Yep. There is an armor boost and emergency rations. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my ship... And yeah, definitely need to uh, definitely need to come back. So we have some medium armor and some coffee and all that stuff. So that's in the medical building. Let's go back out to our ship and unload our loot, and then come back to the medical building. So where is our ship? Whoa, that scared me. Those guys right up there—they look like a drone. I had like a, uh, I had like an adrenaline rush when I saw those. Okay not through here. I need to go out this door? Is it out this door? I think it's out this door. No, nope, it's not out that door. It's up through the middle here. There it is. Okay. There we go. Alright. And there's more stuff underneath that too. So let's grab this. And we'll do this. There we go. Yay, we got some canned food too. Awesome. I like canned food. Canned food is good. And there's an Adiak over there, too. He's big. He's very big. Okay. I'm going to do this, too, while I'm thinking about it. Before we get too much farther. And there it is. There's my oxygen. So I need to put oxygen in the tanks. Fill all. And there we go. Okay. So we are filled up, and that medical building was where again? The medical building was right there, I think. Yeah. So let me do this before I forget, too. This one down here. Let's grab all this stuff. We're going to loot this. I know we're kind of running over time, but we're going to loot this stuff so that we can find everything that's in this base before we take off for the next one. Is there another one outside this? Yeah, there is. There we go. Okay. And I just caught the very corner of it. So, whoops. We're going to go up here. And over that way. 
Uh, don't fall. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Did not want to fall. All right, so we're going to go back in here and find... I know there's some goodies in here. We got medium armor. We have some purified water. And we have an armor boost. Cool. So they might even have an armor locker in one of these places where we can go switch up our armor, too, if we want to. I tend to like to use the lightest armor I can as far as, like, for general purposes. General purposes, but, yeah, you know, unless I'm doing something specifically that requires heavy armor, I don't want to use heavy armor. I think those are the ones we went into. And let's see. Did we go into this? I don't think we went into this one. So let's check. There's the fridge. We got more stuff. And yay, oxygen tank boost, medium armor. The nice thing about the medium armor, the bigger armor, is you can fit more oxygen in it. But you just you move so slowly, you like walk so slowly and stuff. Okay, so we went through the medical. Did we go through these two over here? Yeah, that's part of the medical. I think we went through that, didn't we? Did we go upstairs in there? Did we go upstairs? Is there a... Let me, let me check. Let me check. Because we went down here. No, we went through... Yeah, we didn't go up here, did we? Nothing here. And... Yeah, there's a few more things. Okay. Just some food. Most of that is just going to end up as spoiled food, which is fine. There we go. These repositories are good ones. Those are good ones. You want to find those. Okay. Happy to find those. Okay. And is that... Yep, that's everything here. Okay. So we got all of that. And let me double check with the drone and see if there's anything else we missed. So there's a hovercraft. And there's like the plant room in there, which we went and picked all the plants. We only picked on one side, didn't we? Okay, there's more plants on the other side, too. So let's do that. That was over here. Let's go here. And let's go pick all these plants, too. There we go. There's some oranges and stuff, too. Nice. Nice. And some of these. And these textured plant proteins. There we go. So these textured plant proteins are really useful. They give you health, 100 health, but it's like instant instead of, you know, the slow recovery that you get out of the other, the medikit. So yeah, it's definitely worth keeping those if you need fast health, like in combat, it can be pretty handy. But anyway, I think that might be all of the, I think that might be everything on the settlement. I think we actually covered everything. So let me figure out where I need to go from here. There we go. We can do this. We can go up here. There we go. And is there a third one? I think there is a third plant thing down there. And you know what? I'm probably full, so I think I'm just going to come back and do that later. I'm pretty much filled up with stuff. Yep. So let's get a bunch of this put away. See what of it we can. And we'll put the rest of this in this other cargo box for now. And there we go. Okay. And I think, yep, we are way over time. So that's going to be it for episode six. And uh, join me in episode seven where we're going to make some more. I think we need to get some iron and then we need to make ammo for our, I think because we're down to 63 bullets. Yeah, we definitely need to get some iron and then we will head back to base and make more ammo so you know what we have more ammo at home so yeah we will make some more ammo and then go get more iron anyway join me in episode seven and our quest for more resources and we will see you then later <laughs>